help us out. And we're calling upon two esteemed elders. Vera Kingbird, would you please come on up here? Vera. Vera Kingbird, would you come up here? And also Wambli Wakita. Vera Kingbird from Bemidji, Minnesota, and Wambli Wakita from Sioux Valley, Manitoba. And I'd like to ask all of our grass dancers, 35 plus, to uh, stand by, boys. And also, uh, High Noon and Poundmaker and Battle River. Uh, Dale, we'll need a mic down the road here and check in with uh, Battle River singers. And then also, uh, High Noon and uh, Poundmaker, stand by. All right, before we move ahead, uh, I'm not sure we should share that. Uh, all you dancers categories, it's official. We have no ties in any of our other uh, dance categories. So uh, thank uh, CNT, Clayton, and Tammy. Good job. Thank you. Um, judges that have been called upon approached last night by uh, Jason and Cecil. You know who you are. Stand by. I'm going to call out names a little later on uh, as we get through this. Uh, Ronnie, we need you out here. We're going to ask people to be respectful and uh, stay out of our dance floor before we uh, call upon these uh, grass dancers. How bonjour and shanabe in the land of Emmanuel Doug. My friends, I want to uh, first of all thank the Powell Committee for uh, having me back as your announcer this year, along with uh, Ruben. And uh, you know, it's one thing when you come to Powell such as this, you see a lot of friends, both our singing groups and uh, dancers and uh, friends that we haven't seen for a long time. And one of my special friends I haven't seen uh, through the summer months. We uh, talked last night. I'm talking about my brother here, uh, Cecil uh, Nepus. He said, Vince, when you got time, he says, I'd like to talk to you a little later on. And I said, sure. And so we spent some time with each other. And he introduced me to a, a young man right here. This is what this special is about right here. And I'm talking about uh, Mr. Jason uh, Shkani. He said, Vince, this young man has had sobriety for 12 years. 12 years of sobriety. He's had many bumps on the road before that, significant changes in his life, getting to try to get some stability together and so forth. This young man has been a helper of his, has participated since he's had sobriety to go back into ceremonies and so forth. We all know what that life is like because we pay that respect to that sacred uh, ceremonies that carries us along with this powwow. And because he's so thankful that he's been able to maintain that sobriety and he has a, nothing but tremendous respect to all you dancers and to this powwow circle, he wanted to do something special here. And he chose the grass dancers that he wanted to honor and do something special for him. He's with his good friend, a mentor, and a role model he considers, our brother Ivan Lonechild. He's been taught in a good way about this dance, these powwows, this circle. And for those of you that don't know it, the grass dance is actually the original dance for all of us, for warriors, the Ugichida, the Omaha Nation, this dance, these songs and ceremonies come from that tribe. And we all know what those songs were about and how this dance originated and is where it is today. We question none of those traditions and customs through various tribal nations, but this is his style of dance. And for you dancers that are gonna come forward and honor him by participating, we're going old school with these songs. We're gonna be calling upon High Noon and Poundmaker. These songs will all be trick songs, old style trick songs. 
Now, for those of you, you've seen some of that happen here automatically today. And I can tell you both Ivan, myself, and Cecil, and along with Vera, who's had a lifetime in the Powell Circle, when we came out and danced, we competed against ourselves in drums. We had fun with those drums. But when we had a trick song, if we ever overstepped, we walked out of the arena. That wasn't to impress the crowd. It was because we competed with that drum. That's the respect we had for those singers. And so we would walk out. Yeah, sometimes the committee or families invite so-and-so back and all that. But if you guys know what I'm talking about old school, that was the most admirable, honorable thing you could do when you overstep because you're competing against yourself spiritually in a circle and that drum. Now, I'm not saying that's how you're going to be judged, but I wanted to make sure I was clear on sharing that part of a trick song and that respect we have for these singing groups. And that's what it was all about. So those are the songs that he would like uh, both uh, High Noon and Pond Maker to sing when we get to that portion. And I want to just say uh, to this young man, I want to thank him for being here today and chosen the lifestyle and the path that has got you here, brother, for 12 years. And I want you to continue on. And uh, when I talked to Cecil here and talked about some of these hardships he's overcome, you know, this is not an easy thing for him to do, but he's assembled some money, some gifts, and some items, and he wanted to do this special for you grass dancers. So when you come forward, you're honoring him in return. I want to thank the two elders here that he's called upon that we're going to honor during that time. During that song, he'll be dancing with uh, Ivan out here, and we're going to, going to turn things over to Cecil that will do that special prayer. And then after that prayer, we're going to come to uh, Battle River for that honoring song, and then when we bring him back up here, we'll go into the contest portion and ask those judges to come out. We've got ten, two sets of judges. The first two songs that will be rendered by both High Noon and uh, Poundmaker, after that first song, they'll select 10 contestants. And then the next song, they will get it down to the... Uh, the first two songs, they're all done. Down to that 10, and then he has a second set of judges, eight. We'll have two more songs. And after the first song, they will select uh, four consolation winners. And then the second song, they will select fourth, third, second, and first. That's the order we'll do in that sequence. Hey, I got that right. Hey. OK. I'm going to turn it over to Cecil at this time as he's going to uh, share our prayer with us. And I'll ask uh, Battle River to stand by. Oh, thank you. Hey, uh, stay here. I know this is all going to ask him what I'm going to go down, you know. Oh, what? What's going to see, no? It's now a very tough scout, very tough scout, get there, more pogonia. Stay a bit of Takika Gray, Gray's March, a good and out of a Thomas or that soon. Except she's Nagasi Monota. Okay, get there, a mumsian, stay a demagi, go to Tani Sagaha, the bay, Christa Magua, the bay, big Christa Magua, the Kakio, no Akomaganti. Ladies and gentlemen, it's really been an, a deep honor to have chosen Manitowabi uh, celebration, a place, a very special place where all societies come through, come together. The Grassland Society, that back home we, we jointly, we always join with the Rocky Boy Grassland Society from Hobima. Those people that are involved in our societies. I'm just slowly working my way to take him to one of the ceremonies in, in Rocky Boy, uh, Jason. This boy come a long ways. He wants to continue, and I've been helping him as much as I can. I like working with young men. You see these drums that sit around? Every one of them, every one of them, I have utmost deeply respect for them. 
all the ones that are singing, some of them are my relatives. They're, they sit at the drum. I, I, I also honor those people that sing, that are able to compose songs, because that's what I used to do. I used to be a singer, and I, today I dance. Today I still help people, young people, young men that are struggling out there because of the way the government has systematically taken our children away from us. So I'm trying my hardest best, and these elders uh, that I have chosen, that I respect very much, that they will render the prayer that we ask the Creator to continue that, for Jason, to continue that walk of life, and also the people that are going to be called upon, the ten judge, the first ten judges, and once they complete their picking, then we'll go on the eight final judges. So this is how we had thought of rendering this, this special for Jason Scanny. And, and Ivan here has been a mentor. And also the other older grass dancers, you're all welcome to join because this is for you. We're honoring you. So with that, I'll give the mic back to uh, Vince here, my friend, my relative. So with that, ha-ho. Thank you, Cecil. And by the way, brother, you still are a singer. This man's been down to my reserve. He's been down to Minnesota many times. Our Powell, he has sang with Royce, his friend Johnny Smith. We love you, man. We look forward to seeing you once again. We ask for you to just to be a little patient here at this time as we're going to have these uh, prayers shared by our elders.
testing. Before we go to the honor song, Battle River, stand by. I want to remind all of our Golden Age women and men. We're coming to that special right after this. We want to thank uh, Wombly here and Vera once again for these uh, beautiful prayers and kind words and that tremendous support here for Jason. And my friends at this time, as he's being accompanied by Ivan Lone Child and Cecil, as they come around that circle for all of our you dancers, family members, relatives, and friends, the rest of you grass dancers, we're asking you just to uh, fall in behind these individuals, okay, instead of the handshake. And then we're going right into our contest portion. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, if you're able to, because it's an honor song, we'll ask for those of you at this time to rise and battle river. Give us that special honor song, boys. Here we go. Battle River Singers. Sunday afternoon. We want to uh, say thank you to this young man and let him know he has our love, our kindness, and our support in whichever pathway he continues on in this beautiful circle. He's here to celebrate sobriety and the utmost respect for all of the grass dancers. There's great traditions, songs, good feelings to the people, to the home. as we show that true love and our support. protectors of that people and that society. Those words, those languages are still held today in the most highest way of all you grass dancers that are represented here. Hey, ha, ha. 
Hi, hi. Wopila. Thank you very much, Bella River, for that beautiful song. All right. Gentlemen, we're asking you to come around full circle if you'd be so kind. Once again, this is extended to all of our grass dancers, 35 plus. And the following judges, first set of judges, we need to have you come on out that have been called upon. We need Adrian Yo-Yo Cross from Frog Lake. Elvin Nicotine, Red Pheasant. Charlie and Nancy Tailfeathers, Warm Springs, Oregon. Karen Pheasant from the Wicomacon, First Nation. Celeste Tatusis from Poundmaker. Mike Squash, Crazy Horse Bison, Apache, Oklahoma. Michael Asquash. Mike, they did a typo on your name, Mike. Asquash. Asquash. Jeez, where's the A-S? All I had was S-Q-U-A-S-H. Hey. <laughs> Crazy Horse Bison from Apache, Oklahoma, formerly of Fort Capel. Hey. <laughs> Sheldon Rainey, Big River, Saskatchewan, and Rylan Baker from North Dakota by way of three affiliated tribes. Come on out, boys, and help us out. We should have 10 judges. Would you come up here and help us? High Noon, Stand By, and Poundmaker. High Noon, you'll have the first trick song. Poundmaker, second song. Dale, these songs are being requested back to back, so make sure we get two mics. Once again, we need Karen. She's here. Crazy Horse. Elvin, Charlie, and Nancy, Celeste, Mike, Sheldon Rainey, Rylan Baker. See, we'll leave it up to you judges. If you want to be in the middle of the outside, but here's what we got going. Two songs, trick songs, back to back. The women's and men outside. Women outside, men on the inside. And at the end of these songs, judges, listen up. Back to back, uh, dancers, I'm asking you to remain standing. <laughs> Ten judges in this group will come out and select one winner each. They'll each select one of you, okay? We'll get it down to ten. We'll excuse these uh, judges here. And then the second set of judges, we need to ask you to stand by. Mr. Dave Hokeman from Quebec, Joe Charette, Mount Pleasant, Michigan, Edmund uh, Nabakoya from Apache, Oklahoma, Donnie Spidell from Tuktoyuktuk, Saskatchewan, hey, <laughs> Saskatoon, Coleman Beaver, Morley, Alberta, Crow Belcourt from Minneapolis, Minnesota, Earl Wood from Saddle Lake, Alberta, and Chubb Smith from Brockton, Montana. You eight judges stand by also. Judges, would you hold up your hands, judges, so we can count you, judges? Nancy, is Charlie out there? Nancy, you really can keep an eye on him. I don't blame you. He's a keeper, man. Before we get started here, I'm going to turn it over to Jason. He'd like to share a few... Uh, Words, so uh, stand by judges and stand by contestants. I just want to uh, give thanks uh, for, for today and uh, also the Manitowabi Festival in Powwow for allowing me to uh, let this uh, special take place. Also, I just want to uh, leave a message for our, our contestants here to uh, think about those ones who are sick also, those ones who are struggling with addictions. Uh, dance for those. Have fun. You know, it's not about the money. Uh, I was always taught just to dance from your heart. You know, and everything should fall into place if you believe in yourself. And that's just the message I wanted to, uh, for our fellow grass dancers here. And also, just to encourage our young ones the ones that are coming up to, you know, drug and alcohol-free lifestyle, that's the only way to go in this life. 
alcohol or drugs. I was never a part of our people. When Columbus got lost and we found him somewhere here on Turtle Island, I just want to say in an Oscar one, hi, hi. All right, man, right on the money, brother. Thank you. All right, reminder, dancers, these songs are back to back. Judges, you can move around wherever you need to be. Wherever you end up on that second song, just remain standing. Once again, we're going to select 10 out of this group. What? Oh, we need 10 seconds, eh? Rusty Gillette's going to get dressed. Hey, i just joking. All right, gentlemen, good luck. Two songs, old school trick songs, back to back, man. High noon, start these boys off. Here we go. Judges, stand by, boys. Ten judges, take your time and select ten dancers on what you've just witnessed on those two killer songs by High Noon and Poundmaker. Poundmaker, stand by. When we come back, you'll have the first song, and High Noon, you'll have the second song. They'll be trick songs one more time. If you're selected, we'll ask you to come on up here. We'll extend you guys to handshake with our elders here, if you would like, and take it through the line. Now, from the words of the wisdom of the elders here, you know, we got ten boys here now this time, two songs. We're going to go with two more once again. Poundmaker, you'll start us off at high noon. 
Now, this second group here, they want you dancers to move around, man. Shake it up a bit and move around. We want to thank our first set of judges, and now we need eight judges to come on out. Second set of judges will come forward and help us out. Mr. Dave Hokimon, please come on out. Joe Charette, Edmund Navacoya, Donnie Spidell, Coleman Beaver, Crow Belcourt, Earl Wood, and Chubbs. All right, these eight judges, here's what you got. After the first trick song, we'll ask you to stop right there and then hope, uh, high noon stand by. Pound maker will sing the first trick song, okay? After that first trick song, we're gonna select our consolation winners. And these judges will select four out of this group, excuse me, five. We'll ask Chubbs, Earl, Crow, and Coleman to select Consolation, right? Four. Four. All right. And then the second song will have uh, fourth, third, second, and first. And that will be Donnie, Edmund, Joe, and Dave. Oh, you got it, judges? All right. Yeah, okay, judges, come on out. All right. Poundmaker will sing that first song. And these judges will pick these consolation winners. Chubbs, Earl, Crow, and Coleman. We got 10 contestants out there. We're going to select uh, four consolation. All right. How about a Winnipeg? You ready to see these boys go one more time? Let me hear ya. Well, that was weak. Come back next year. Hey, I joke. All right. Two songs coming at you, boys. Old school trick song, man. Give it your best shot. Move around. Poundmaker. Whenever you're ready. <laughs> Just remain stationary here. Take your time, judges, and let's find four consolation winners out of this group. Take your time. Ten contestants out there. We're going to get it right down to six. High noon, stand by one more time.
Here's what we want to present to uh, consolation winners here, the four. The other six remain out there. Down to our final here, final six. All right, high noon standby. Judges, come on out wherever you want to be, boys. This is the final song. We got six contestants at the end of the song, boys. We're going to have you come right in the center of the arena. And we'll have you face the other direction, and we'll come out and pick fourth, third, two and one in that order we got blankets and jackets and all kinds of money here so dance hard we're down to the final six gentlemen good luck high noon we're on the home stretch boys <laughs> Sportsmanship, come on out, boys. All six of you, get out here, man. Now, I told you earlier, right here, they all got bucked off, but that is the spirit of this competition. All of you, come on up here, all six of you. I want to thank you all, though, for doing it. Hang on, hang on, boys. Hang on, come here. You guys, just wait a minute. All right. First of all, high noon, they want to say something special to you, man. They want to say, you guys, you took it to a man. They all boss it, lost it. So they're going to ask here, we're going to finish it out to all six out of honor and respect. 
they like to go uh, a straight grass dance song to w wind this thing down. What do you think of that? Should we go with that? One straight song. All right. Poundmaker, stand by. We're coming back to you for that, boys. Give them a short breather. Same thing here, judges. We're ready to go. We're going to go with four, three, two, one. At the end of the song, boys, we're going to get you right here in the center, and we're going to line you up one more time. Now, what I start out with, you just seen this, and I already mean it. It's not the easiest thing when you compete against that drum and yourself, man. And that's what honor is about and that respect to that drum group. Hi, Noon. Thank you for that great song. Poundmaker, stand by. We're going to wind it down right now. You've seen these boys go four songs. This is our fifth song here for our six uh, finalists. Right after this, we're asking all of our veterans to stand by, our Canadian Armed Forces veterans that are here, and those judges I called upon earlier. Women's Golden Age stand by, Host Drum stand by, Midnight and Stony Park. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Judges ready? All right. Final song for sure, Poundmaker, whenever you're ready. time all right line them up boys right there in the middle pound maker thank you for that beautiful song gentlemen we'll ask you to face the opposite direction there we're going to uh, call upon our judges here as they will come out and uh, select uh, fourth place All right, hold on. They want to select first place. Okay, you can do that. First place will receive $800 cash, beautiful Pendleton, and this beautiful jacket. Mr. Charette, you've been called upon.
There's your first place, Royce Kingburn, Red Lake. All right, stand by, second place. Ruben. All right, second place, here we go. Edmund Nabakoya is gonna come out and select our second place. Lakota Claremont, all right, second place. All right, four judges. We need a third place winner, boys. And it looks like Donnie Spadell. Third place right here. Mr. Terrence Goodwill, third place. Dave, whenever you're ready, brother, fourth place. All right, let's give all these boys a round of applause. Delbert Wapass. Congratulations, boys. Thank you for coming forward and honoring this young man right here, Jason. And Jason, we look forward to seeing you back out in this beautiful Powell Circle. We thank you. All right, Rusty and Rom, we're gonna need you up here one more time to stand by. We'd like to ask both, uh, all three drums, High Noon, come on up here, Poundmaker and Battle River, and receive some uh, money here for those songs you shared here on this great special. We're asking host drums stand by, Golden Age Women and Golden Age Men. We need those last two individuals that didn't place Clifton. Come up here in a consolation. Delbert would like to present you with some of his money. He's got 200, he wants to receive 100. And the other gentleman that walked out that uh, was not part of the consolation, come on up here. Delbert says he's just thankful he's able to dance and most of all, above that, he wanted to show this support to Jason. And I want to tell you about sobriety. Delbert says he shares what this young man has is 12 years, Jason, and that Delbert has 44 years of sobriety, and he wanted to sh share that with you and respect you. If that other dancer is still here, that grass dancer that make that consolation, come up and see Delbert. He'd like to present you with that money. This will conclude this special. Jason, thank you. Thank you, Cecil, Ivan, and thank our elders. And now, uh, Ron, we need to get some more chairs up here for our Canadian uh, Armed Force veterans that are here with us. To uh, We'd like to invite them to come up here in front and sit.
Iron Swing and Young Bear Stand By. We got a tie in the women's backup singers, so we were going to use host drums for all four songs, but to accommodate these tiebreakers, we'll go to the first song with a host drum, the second song with the tiebreaker. Donnie, if you're going to bring them out, let's get them out here right now. And you got to talk to Dale, make sure we get a stationary mic or whatever you need out there. And Donnie, it should only be those backup women singing judges and yourself, once again, okay? Because we've got 29 in the Golden Age uh, women and 23 in our Golden Age men. We're going to ask uh, the following judges that we spoke with earlier to come up in front, if you'd be so kind. Colette Yuzitsipi, Diane DeRosier, Gina Topsky, Dale Roberts. Would you please come up here in front at this time? And uh, Dale, make sure we got those mics uh, situated here with what we need to take care of with the backup singers. My friends, this is our last special here um, this evening, but it's a very special time to uh, host this. We want to thank the following uh, sponsorship from the Puckatawagan First Nation. We should have a member here. Is she here? But they're the ones sponsoring this uh, category. So we'd like to ask the Golden Age women to come on out. Ladies, come all the way around the circle. Golden Age is all combined. We have traditional, jingle, some fancy shawl. Hey. Once again, those judges, come on up here. Diana, Donnie, come on up here. Gina. Dale. Vita MacArthur, come up here quickly and see Donnie. Vita MacArthur. Once 
Once again, Colette, if you can hear us, Colette Yuzuchipi, Colette, number one volunteer coordinator. Colette, where are you at? Colette, right here, come here. Ladies and gentlemen. And I want to thank the following uh, veteran judges we called upon that are uh, Canadian veterans that served in the Canadian Armed Forces. Doug Marnie, 17th Service Battalion, served in Cyprus. And our brother Horace Massan from Split Lake First Nation, Royal Corps of Engineers. And these other gentlemen you see have been here with us throughout the weekend or our Canadian Armed Force veterans that have been part of our Grand Entry and so forth. This special is uh, by the Puckatawagan First Nation are hosting this special for these uh, women's golden age. And it's to honor the Aboriginal Canadian veterans. As you all know that November 8th is Canadian Armed Veterans Day. Down in the US, November 11th is our Veterans Day. And now as we separate two countries, our veterans that we served with, which I served with, and even in Vietnam from 1970 to 71, Second Battalion, First Marines. These veterans have served with the US from World War I to Korea, Vietnam, Desert Stat, Iraq, Afghanistan. And if you've never had a family member that is a veteran that never came home to the people, or came home in a body bag, this is what we sing about. That song that Stony Park sang earlier today, the warrior mother's song. That goes out to those beautiful women that lost a son and a daughter that never returned. And today, these gentlemen you see here are everybody that is sitting here that has served proudly in the Canadian Armed Forces or US military. We honor these individuals with this special song. And uh, the women that come forward, they chose this category. And we want to thank the Puckatawagan First Nation for hosting this special. And we have also uh, Chief Arlen Dumas right here to my right. We thank him for being here. We're going to have two songs sung. The first song will be Midnight. The second song, Donnie, where are we going? Iron Swing to help out the tiebreaker for the women backup. When we get to the Golden Age men, Reuben, I'm going to kick it over to you, and Stony Park will have the first song. And Young Bear will have that second song. Now, ladies, we want you to enjoy yourselves out there. Have a good time. We've got six judges. Right after the first song, we want you to remain standing, and each judge will select one of you. That'll be six. And then we'll excuse the rest, and we'll come back for the second song. We've got six finalists. And at the end, we're going to pick first place and five consolations. First place is $1,000, along with coats and vests that we have here, and the other uh, consolation winners receive $100. Want to thank the sponsorship, and as we honor our proud veterans. Ladies, good luck, have yourselves a good time. Keep the floor clean, here we go. Midnight, start us off, boys, song number one.
about a round for these beautiful Golden Age women. Ladies, we'll ask you just to remain standing stationary there. Thank you very much, Midnight, for that beautiful song. Judges, take your time. We've got six judges once again here that are going to come out and select uh, six contestants. And then we'll bring them up forward here. We're going to give them ample time for a short breather here. And we'll be coming over to Iron Swing Boys. Stand by with that second song. Golden Age men stand by. We're going to do the same uh, protocol, boys, and come at you uh, with Stony Park here and Young Bear. So don't go too far. I want to thank all you beautiful women for coming out and honoring the veterans we have here with us throughout this weekend and today that you see seated before us on my left once again. And we have a lot of family members and friends that are here that have loved ones that are not here today that stepped up to the plate and served countries proudly. And we want to say something in a very special way for those individuals and those families that are represented here. And we thank these individuals that have been here with us for the last six years on this powwow celebration. My brother Joe, I have seen every year here from the start and the rest of the veterans you see before you. So this is a very special way to honor these individuals as we approach November 8th, Canadian Armed Veterans Day. All right, judges, when you make your selection, we'll just have those uh, six individuals to come over here to my right and we'll go right from there. Whenever you're ready, judges, make your selection. I want to thank these veterans once again and our other judges that we called upon all the way from Oklahoma, Montana, South Dakota. Gina, you want to bring them up here, your contestants? We'll get all six up here. Looks like we have our six, my friends. How about a round of applause for all of these beautiful Golden Age women? <laughs> Once again, Iron Swing, stand by, boys, Iron Swing. We'll allow our beautiful Golden Age women to extend that handshake and then we'll call our six finalists back out. Iron Swing stand by. Also, they take care of the tiebreaker right here for the backup women singers. Right after that, Stony Park's all ready to go, so stand by for the Golden Age men. And Young Bear, you'll have that second song when we come to our Golden Age men. And when we get to the Golden Age men, I've asked my brother Ruben to uh, take us through that last uh, special. You know, I had some time to spend in the elders over there with some of these veterans, and one of the gentlemen said, Vince, you know, your friend up there started out talking about the Battle of the Little Bighorn and the Cheyenne. He asked if he could finish that story. So before we get into that traditional, when we get the Golden Age men, I'm going to have him talk about that song and that Battle of the Little Bighorn. Ruben comes from the Northern Cheyenne Nation, which is Lame Deer, Montana, 68 miles from the actual site of the Little Bighorn. And he'll share that story with you, brother, and finish it up. All right, we'll get our six finalists once again back out, Dale. Should be six. Dale, you're not cross-eyed, huh? Hey. Looking out there double, man. And you're not even on the panel board. <laughs> All right, six judges, come back out one more time, if you'd be so kind. Now, what we shared here, these six judges here are going to have a final look at our six contestants. 
And at the end of the song, we'll bring all six of our Golden Age women right here up in front in a line. And then they, as a group, will decide who's first place for $1,000, and the other five will receive consolation for $100 each. And also to the champion is this beautiful vest right here, the Manitowabi vest and logo and design. That'll be presented also to the first place winner. Man, this is cool. We're taking care of two things at one time. The women backup singers and a final song for these beautiful golden age women. <laughs> ladies, looks like they're ready to go. Dance hard, ladies. Have yourselves a great time out there. Iron swing. They want to get in the powwow swing mood, boys. Here we go. How about a round of applause one more time for these beautiful Golden Age women? Ladies, if you'd be so kind, would you please come on up here? Because my brother Ron McNabb would love you to surround him with your beauty and your presence. All right. Judges, we'll have you come on over here, all six of our judges here. They're going to take a little time here and figure out, once again who our first place uh, champion is, stand by, as it is gonna be presented with uh, $1,000, along with this beautiful vest. Take your time. Golden Age men, stand by. My brother Ruben, come on down here.
Yeah. You know, this is something very special. It's truly an honor and a privilege to be here and do this special here, along with our veterans you see seated before you. We're going to ask them to stay right here in place as we're going to come right back to our, our Golden Age men. I don't want nothing of your huddle. <laughs> you know, Ronnie, I don't know about you, man, but I learned something a long time ago. There's two theories about arguing with a woman, and I found out neither one works. Hey. All right, they've asked, uh, no, these veterans have delegated a direct orders to Dale. All right, you ready? Here we go. They said, Dale, after this, they want you to volunteer for a 30-year enlistment. Hey. All right, here we go. How about a drum roll? First place champion, $1,000. Here's your winner right here. Diane McKay again. Congratulations, Diane. Lisa. All right, congratulations. We'll ask our other five to come through. They're each going to receive $100 consolation money right here. On behalf of the Puckatawagan Tribe First Nation. And I'll ask our six judges to stand by as we're going to do the same type of judging and protocol here with our Golden Age men. All right. Golden Age men, come on out here, and I've called upon uh, Reuben to uh, take us through this uh, Golden Age men as uh, I want him to finish up with that story that he uh, started there during our grand entry. And we'll be coming to Stony Park for that first song here, and then uh, Young Bear, stand by. You've got the second song. Thank you, Vince. Yeah. Where's he at? Is he in the bathroom? Where's he at? Hey. I'm in the bathroom Facebooking. <laughs> Seems that nobody takes magazines or newspaper to the O anymore. They take their phone and update their status. And after they get done doing their business, they get up and they take a picture with the mirror. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sitting right here, Vince. Chief Dennis Cameron got land, thank and end. And <clears throat> you know, that's interesting shirt. And uh, Vince asked me to share a little bit of a story about uh, earlier yesterday, uh, talking about the Battle of the Little Bighorn. And uh, some of you up here in the provinces of Canada, you might remember some time ago in 1876, sure enough, there was three tribes that allied together. And the 7th Cavalry, under leadership of General George Armstrong Custer, you see, ladies and gentlemen, in the United States of America and throughout the history of American wars, 
The United States was never and has never ever been defeated. They call it the most powerful country in the world. But yet sometimes they forget to neglect to acknowledge that in 1876, the U.S. Army was defeated one time. And that flag was captured. Yeah. You see, the, the story I wanted to share was just a two, two stories tonight. One, <clears throat> not so much a story, but a, a reminder and some words of encouragement to, to remind us Native people, Indigenous people here in the United States and Canada to remember who you are and where you come from, what your ancestors fought for you. And just as my ancestors fought in the greasy grasses of the little bighorn, and I mentioned sometime at a different celebration that a lot of races being African American there was a lot of political quotes and there was a lot of civil rights movements you see the black man the African American he fought to be equal to the white man they fought for equality we want to be equal but you see, the indigenous people, us Native Americans, First Nations people, we fought to be First Nation. We fought to be Northern Cheyenne. We forgot, we fought to be who we are. And so that battle that happened in 1876 embarks and symbolizes of what we strive for to retain our Indian ways, our songs, our dances, our culture, our tradition, our pride. And so remind your children. Remind your children and tell them stories of what your ancestors fought for. Now my second story, before I get too serious and I'm going to make it quick. The story I wanted to share about the Battle of Little Bighorn, there was two other battles that happened before June 25th, you see. <clears throat> Some of you might have heard this before. But George Armstrong Custer was making his way to southeastern Montana. And as he was making his journey there, they came across two or three other Indians that were straggling around by themselves. So George Armstrong Custer, he told his colonel, he said, Colonel, go get my red shirt. Colonel got the red shirt, he put it on. Custer put on his red shirt, he went into the battle, and he got lucky. He got those two or three straggling Indians. So the next day, as they approached closer to the southeastern Montana, they came across two or three other Indians again. And General Custer said, Colonel, get my red shirt. Custer put on the red shirt, and he got lucky again. But sure enough, on June 25th, in the morning, as they were approaching closer, Colonel came up to George Armstrong Custer, and he said, General, I have a question. Why is it you ask for your red shirt when you go into battle? Custer said, that's easy. I put my red shirt on because if I get hit in battle and they see blood, my men won't lose faith. They won't lose pride. They won't lose courage and they'll keep on fighting. I see. Because of the blood, because of the color red. So when they came across the hills and they saw 5,000 Cheyenne and Lakota and Arapaho natives sitting there waiting for him, Custer told his colonel, he said, Colonel, Go get my brown pants. <laughs> Those of you still wondering, thinking about it, he pooped his pants, man. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. Where are we going with the songs? First one, Stony. Second one, Young Bear, and the judges are there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is our golden age. Once again, we want to encourage our golden age, our senior dancers here. These guys are the old bulls. These guys got racks. They're the bull elks, the bull moose. And we encourage all of you, ladies and gentlemen, to watch closely. We got a special contest, Stony Park. We're going to come to you for a contest song. We need the six judges, dance judges, to the center or the outside. No, I like the outside. 
If we put him in the center, Charlie's jamming out over here and Cecil's jamming out. And then when they turn and look this way, they're in cruise mode. And on that side over there, we got uh, Donnie and... Uh, <laughs> Ready? Judges, Stony Park. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise during this contest song and let's honor our fathers, our grandfathers, our uncles. Let's honor our Golden Age Warriors. Please stand, please rise. of applause ladies and gentlemen and thank you for standing that first contest song for our golden age men thank you stony park aho we're gonna ask the women's backup judges to make your way to young bear and we uh right now we need the six judges to choose a finalist six judges choose your favorite uh-huh we have one selection right here, Mr. Jim Red Eagle. Thank you. One finalist. We need five more. Once again, our judges are asked to come on out. We have finalist number two, Mr. Royce Kingbird. Finalist. Mr. George Abraham, one of our finalists. Crazy Horse Bison, one of our finalists. What's that 
Mr. Harold Flett, uh, one of the finalists. Ira. We have another finalist over there too, but uh, not too sure. I don't know if that, is that Tuff Hedeman? Yeah. This is uh, Howie Copenhagen Sr. We have six finalists here. Ladies and gentlemen, the six finalists of the world. Hey. Put that on powers.com. <laughs> we got six finalists of the world. Kind of be careful how you say that anymore, though. You know, they have those <clears throat> powers in Germany, Denmark, Europe. Powers over there in Spain. Six finalists, are you ready to go? Women's backup judges, you ready to go? Here we go, Young Bear. Dancers, we ask you to come on over here and line up. How about a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, our women's backup singers. Beautiful singing. Thank you, Young Bear. Thank you, Iron Swing. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of occupations in Indian country. You know, you could become a tribal cop, and you're always going to have uh, haters. You're always going to have envy and jealousy and all that that comes with it. 
You become a tribal politician, maybe a tribal councilman or a chief or some kind of dignitary, and it comes with haters and jealousy and envy. But somewhere along the lines in the power circle, you're a judge. <laughs> and it comes with haters, and I'm just kidding. But it's tough to be a dance judge, a singing judge. It's tough. But we think our uh, arena head staff, along with Ron McDab and Russ Gillette, Donnie Spidow, we call upon the uh, leadership and knowledge of Crow Belcourt, Coleman Beaver, and we uh, ask these guys to fill that capacity and serve as a head judge, along with uh, Rooster, Top Sky, and uh, Michelle Black Kettle. And they, they do it to uh, choose uh, who they feel can uh, help them determine some winners but in the eyes of all of us it's hard to choose champions but as I always say and I and I know it goes for a lot of you out there after you leave here this weekend and you return back home to your home community you return back home to wherever it's at and sure enough someone's gonna ask you <clears throat> Hey, Rusty, how was Manitowabi? Oh, it was good. It was good. How'd you do? Oh, I, I just danced for the people. That's code for I didn't get in. <laughs> yeah. However, if they made the pay window, yeah, I got fifth, but I missed that first grand entry. <laughs> There's always something. How'd you do in the singing contest? Oh, <clears throat> we sang for the people. <laughs> Uh, that's code word. Okay. We're choosing. We're, we're choosing our champion. First place on behalf of Dennis Cameron and family. There's your champion, Mr. Harry Copenay Sr. Howie, Howie Copenay Sr., your champion, receiving one, 1,000, 1,000 smackaroos and an all-expense-paid trip to, to Brandon, Manitoba. And the uh, hotel you're staying at has a 250-foot water slide. <laughs> Uh, who, how we, and second place, or they all consolation? How about a round of applause for our other dancers here? Consolation winners, consolation winners, each receiving three thousand dollars. <laughs> the champion only got one. Let's get a picture. You know, on behalf of the traditional specials here on the Golden Age men and women, they also want to recognize and thank the veterans that come on out to help decide the winners and honor our service men and women. So I want to thank uh, our veterans one more time. On behalf of uh, uh, Puckatowagan and also uh, Dennis Camry, Cameron. When do you want to do that? Uh, Ruben, uh, real quick, Ruben, uh, midnight standby as we're going to have an honor song before we go to the stamp and colors. You know, my friends, it takes a lot to uh, put this uh, celebration here together, and we want to acknowledge the following uh, sponsors that have contributed uh, immensely 
to make this possible. And if they have representatives, we're asking them to come out here also. We'd like to acknowledge the West Region Child and Family Services, Dakota Ojibwe Child and Family Services, the Nelson House Medicine Lodge, Eokine Healing Center Incorporated, Canadian Women's Foundation, Chief Dennis Cameron and family, the Puckatawagan First Nation, Fisher River Cree Nation, Manitoba, Manitoba Lotteries Corporation, Paguas First Nation, Heart and Stroke Foundation of Manitoba, Dakota Ojibwe Tribal Council, DOTC, Arrowhead Development Corporation, and our huge sponsor, Manitoba Lotteries. We'd like to have those individuals are here. We'd like to welcome you to come out here as we'd like to have a special song. We'd like to invite you to uh, come in behind these uh, flags and uh, colors here as this uh, officially is retiring our Eagle staff and our flags. And as these veterans with our flags and staff pass before you, for you drum keepers that follow that sacred tradition, if you want to take your drum in a circle, or for anybody else that's still in regalia, this is how we acknowledge these staff and flags as we exit. We'd like to invite each and every one of you. My friends, one more time, we'll ask you to rise at this time, and uh, we go over to midnight for those uh, special song short flag and right into our exit song. As we get underway here, we're uh, calling upon our staff carriers and flag bearers. And on behalf of Dennis Cameron, he says, thank you, Midnight, for singing that awesome songs. Thank you, Young Bear, for singing them awesome songs. Handshake out to the boys. Ready? All right, this is it. Let's uh, stand. Please rise as we exit. Retire our Eagle Staff and Colors Midnight Express, if you would please.
welcome you to this beautiful circle. This is our final song right here. We thank Bo Stony Park from Morley, Alberta, Midnight Express, Host Drums, doing a great job for a Power Weekend celebration. A special thank you to our head veteran, Mr. Joe McCants, right here, and our other Canadian veterans you see before you, staff carers, flag bearers. They're singing about the Warriors right now, the Okichita. They're talking about honor and bravery in this song right here. Ladies and gentlemen, as these staff carriers and flag exit this power arena, how about a round of applause one more time? Winnipeg, warm them up. We say thank you to these proud veterans, staff carriers, flag bearers, chief and council, dignitaries, drum keepers, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, 
Hopping around on the plaza, ladies and gentlemen, Midnight Express. Host drum right here from the Twin Cities, from the lower 48. And also serving our air host drum all the way Morley, Alberta, Stony Park, ladies and gentlemen. Round of applause for the Beaver Boys. And the man with the black glove. Uh, Elvis. Say, son, why don't you uh, do that little dance you did a while ago? So I started moving my hips. Hey, we're going to take care of some winners here. We're going to be calling upon the honor song. Right? Rusty, we still got the honor song, eh? Oh, I thought we were. If I would hear Also, too, Midnight Stony Park, don't forget to take your uh, signs there. Duct tape it on top of one of your cars. <laughs> See how that works, Stony Park and Midnight? Same Oops. goes for you, too. As When I got here, they wouldn't let me up on the stage. They barely even let me in the door. I tried to tell them who I was and what I do here, and they said, I don't care who you are. You got to need a pass. So they put signs for Midnight and Stony Park for those that might not know who you are. Lisa Meches. Hey, there they are. They're still around. You guys want to take a picture of Midnight Express? That's them right there. There's a uh, Veterans Power on November 8th at the uh, Indian Metis Center and the Indian Metis Friendship Center. 54 Robinson, that's what uh, he said there. Starts at 1 o'clock. There's a veteran's pow over there November 8th. And the Aboriginal Center, too. They're having Aboriginal ceremony, so he wanted to give me a quick shout-out. And uh, what was that? Oh, yeah, I know her. Yeah, I know her. He said, also, I want to send a happy birthday to Dion Jacobs. I don't know how he knows Dion Jacobs, but uh, Dion, happy birthday. <laughs> Sponsors. Funders. Dion turned 29 again. Yeah, but is he still wearing pampers? Hey, come on, let's get the show on the road, man. Everybody's itching here. By the way, now I'll say it, Candace. We've been informed that we have safe travel weather to the south, to the north, to the east, to the south, to the west. All right. Nobody clear sailing. Ready? Once again, uh, those of you that were here last year over in the far corner there, in the veterans area in the green room located over there. Uh, Rod Atchenham, can you stand and kind of wave your hands a little bit? 
Rod Atchenham. Right there, we're going to send the winners to that tunnel over there, and there's some tables over there. And security is right here, head of security. So we're, uh, we'll be escorting you over there. You'll need to sign and receive your prize money over there. Sponsors and funders, come on up and shake hands. All right, here's how we're going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. As I customarily, traditionally do in Indian country at some celebration, you heard me announce before one time, I'd like to take care of the drum contest first and honor our drums. But before I do that, I'd like to call forth Midnight Express, our host drum, ladies and gentlemen, one more time. Give it up for these gentlemen. Come through, crew. Shake hands with the power committee. A job well done. Oh, I thought they were ready. Now they're facing this way. So we're going to get set up here, and then we're going to have our chief. We're going to have our... I know it. Somebody wanted to see my dragon. <laughs> Ruben, the reason they want us on this side, listen up, you winners, is the powwows.com still on air live. So everybody will see you when you come through. So get your big, cheesy-looking face. Give that smile, man, you know. Your smile's so big, it says continued on page two. Hey. Here they are, shake hands. Thank you, Crow Midnight Express. Ladies and gentlemen, before I call up Stony Park, uh, on behalf of Lisa Meaches and on behalf of Candace Hart, uh, the two hardest working responsible here for the Festival Power Coordinators and uh, the whole APCMAs, Aboriginal People's Choice Music Awards, that all the activities here that happen, they said they wanted to relay the message to each and every one of you. Thank you for attendance, for coming on out and your support. They've had a good time. They are satisfied with the uh, attendance, the drums, the singers, and each and every one of you. We wish you well. Coming up next year, there will be uh, information on the website, and there will be information out there on powers.com as well as far as location for next year's event for Manitowoc 2013. And at this time, we're calling up Stony Park, ladies and gentlemen, from Morley, Alberta, our host drum. Come on up, Coleman. Come on up, boys. Shake hands with the Powell Committee, a job well done. Awesome songs, I heard Peje, Peje, watch it, bed oh. I heard Chema Dakara, ahu, uh huh. Singing voice. We'll see you at Swift Current, huh? Swift Current, Living Sky Casino, February 13th and 14th. Give them a quick shout out. Thank you, Lionel Tatusis, Trevor Marion. And since I'm in the powwow shout outs, I'd like to invite you all to the powwow, the weekend after gathering of nations, May 3rd and 4th, out there in San Bernardino, California. Come and join Rusty and myself and Randy Paskeman and Joaquin Hamilton, the four horsemen. I'd like to call upon our head drum judges. Shake hands. How about a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen? We call up... Uh, Cole Beaver and Mr. Cole Balcor. And on behalf of the singing contest, Crow and Coleman say thank you to our judges. They say thank you, so we'll have him stay right there. Also calling upon our dance judges, ladies and gentlemen, how about a round of applause for head staff, Rooster, Top Sky, Michelle Black Kettle, our head staff. Come on up. Shake hands with the power committee on behalf of our head dance judges, they say thank you to all those that came forth, helped them out with the contest.
Oh, yeah. I'm not forgetting Donnie. <clears throat> Donnie Spidell, ladies and gentlemen, round of applause for our hand drum coordinator, uh, MC, and uh, roaming MC Donnie Spidell. And a shout out to Hoka Sound, Dale Roberts, a shout out to uh, Paul Gould and uh, Mike Gabbard, powers.com. That's everybody, head staff. And also our tabulator, CNT tabulation. Tammy, I didn't forget about you. Clayton Crane, Tammy Stone stands. And also Colin Marceau. Thank you, Colin, as well. Our, I don't know, I think he might be the boss behind everything. <laughs> And our arena directors, we can't forget about our arena directors. Save the last, the arena bosses. How about a round of applause for Rusty Gillette and Ron McNabb. Come on forth and shake hands. These two champion dancers. Ah. It's because of Rusty Gillette, my son, Sonny Boy, doesn't want to tuck his shirt in. He said, ah. I know you want me to be like you, Dad, and tuck your shirt in, but I want to be like Rusty and wear my shirt out because it's cool. It's not so much it's cool, it's because Rusty's got no butt and he wants to hide it. <laughs> Ready? That's everybody. And Vince Bao, ladies and gentlemen, how about Bemidji's finest, sexiest, most eligible bachelor, Vince Bao? I don't even know if he's eligible. Drum contest, let's do it. There were six places in the original style. With 690 points. Crazy spirit. I don't know if I can do theme music for all of you, but I just happened to get a call right when that happened, so. <laughs> With 703 points, original style singing, Rock Hill. And once again, Derek, Derek Hart will be escorting you gentlemen back to the uh, green room there to sign. In fourth place, in the original style singing, with 715 points, Poundmaker. Poundmaker. In third place, in the original style singing, with 722 points, Wooden Face. Wooden face. <clears throat> now the top two. In the original style, singing contest with 744 points. Young Bear. Young Bear. And your champions in the original singing contest with 787 points. High noon, high noon. <laughs> Once again, lead singers. Of uh, the drums that place, make sure you make your way to the uh, back over there in the tunnel.
really smokes. Moving right along into the contemporary style singing, contemporary singing champions in sixth place with 648 points. 648 points, Whitetail. Whitetail. In fifth place with 671 points, Buffalo Lodge. Buffalo Lodge. In fourth place, 672 points, Iron Swing. Iron Swing. In third place in the contemporary style with 745 points. Cree Confederation. Cree Confederation. In second place, contemporary style with 747 points. Whitefish Juniors. Whitefish Juniors. <clears throat> right on, boys. Singing. I hope. Your champions in the contemporary style singing with 765 points. Bear Creek. Bear Creek. And you know, uh, with all this handshaking, before you go to BP's and order that dry ribs, because I don't know about any other race, we like to eat our ribs with our hands. So make sure and wash your hands. Hand drum. All right, we're going to move a little bit quicker. That was a lot of handshakes to take care of. Hand drum contest in fifth place. 296 points, the four loose hairs. Four loose hairs, your fifth place champion. In fourth place, 327 points, Iron Swing. In third place in the hand drum, 331 points, Goodfellas. Goodfellas. In second place, 342 points, Poundmaker, hand drum second place champions, Cornell, come on up and your champions with 346 points, Whitefish Juniors. In the women's backup singing, the women's backup singing, fifth place, 185 points, River Cree. In fourth place, with 186 points, Thunderheart. Thunderheart. In third place, backup singing for the women, 197 points, Whitetail Cree. White Tail Cree in second place. The women's backup singing contest. The tie was for first. With 
214 points, Young Bear. And your champions, women's backup with 215 points, Iron Swing. Announcing the winners in the Heart and Stroke Foundation, teen girls all around, the Heart and Stroke Foundation for the teen boys all around. I do not know the prize money for this special contest, but I do know it was sponsored by the Heart and Stroke Foundation. Right, Lisa? All right, the all-around competition for the girls in the teen division. They danced fancy, they danced jingle, they danced traditional, and they were judged in each category. In fifth place, with 136 points, Oak Tisha Roberts. Oak Tisha Roberts. In fourth place, with 152 points, Mallory Oaks. Mallory Oaks. In third place with 193 points, Shannon Wambadiska. In second place in the Teen Girls All Around with 324 points, Lauren Oaks. Lauren Oaks. Come around and Lauren, where are you at? <laughs> Your champion in the Teen Girls All Around with 328 points, Skylisha Black Kettle. There's Shannon wearing the awesome shirt. Thank you, thank you. Do we have the Heart and Stroke Foundation here? We're waiting on Sky. Leisha Black Kettle, where are you at, Sky? You are the champion in the all around. There she is. Announcing the all around for the teen boys. Fifth place, 127 points, CJ Keshawadam. CJ Keshawadam. In fourth place, with 346 points, Jenmi Bondi. Jenmi Bondi. In third place with 352 points, Sunny Means. Sunny Means. In second place with 371 points, Sunny Littlehead. Sunny Littlehead. He always no my. Your champion in the Teen Boys All Around, sponsored by the Heart and Stroke Foundation with 422 points, Mitchell Baker. Mitchell Baker. And ladies and gentlemen, that's all the names I have in my sheets here with the drum contest, with the backup, with the hand drum, and the all around. I'll turn it on over to Vince to take us through some more winners. All right, congratulations. Listen up, all you juniors and teens. Don't be up top. Come on down. Find a seat, man. Help us out. We're going to start things off with a junior girl's fancy shawl. Here we go in fifth place. 415 points goes to Shundin Whitehorse. Your fifth place winner, junior girl's fancy Shundin Whitehorse. Shundin. Also, you need to bring a parent, someone to go over there. They need three forms of identification, so we'll just take a sample of your DNA. Hey, fourth place, here we go. 420 points goes to Janae Tatousas. Fourth place. Janae Tatousas, fourth place. Man, where are you at, juniors and teens? Come on down here. And your third place winner, 425 points, goes to Atosh Bird. Atosh Bird. 
Parents, you might want to help out because we're going to escort these young ones over to the pay window back in that room.